What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to graph rational functions. And we're gonna cover three of the more basic forms that you're gonna see, all right? So we're gonna start with the easiest form, which is y is equal to a over x. So basically just uh, y is equal to some number over x. So this is the example we're gonna do first. f of x is equal to four over x. Now, if it's ever in this form, your asymptotes are always gonna be in the exact same spot. They're always gonna be along the y-axis. And I'll write it right here. So x is equal to zero, and also along the x-axis. So right here, okay? And this is at y is equal to zero. Now, when you graph a rational function, the graph looks something like that. There's basically two parts to it, okay? And this is called a hyperbola. Okay, so if the number up here, our a number is positive, it's gonna look something like that. And if the a number, the number up here is negative, it would just be flipped, all right? So then these guys would look like that. And these guys, they're called branches, all right? So just a little definition for you. Now, in order to graph this, we need to make two tables, all right? Two x, y tables. Now, in one table, uh, you wanna look at where your vertical asymptote is. So right here at x is equals to zero, and we wanna pick some points to the left of it, right? So that's what's gonna go in one table. And then we're gonna take some points to the right of it and plug that into our other table, okay? So let's plug in some points to the left. So some easy x values that we can plug in that are on the left side, let's just say negative uh, eight, negative four, and negative one, okay? So if we plug in, first of all, negative eight right here, we'll have four over negative eight, which is negative one half. If we plug in a negative four, we'll get four over negative four, which is equal to negative one. And if we plug in a negative one, four over negative one is equal to negative four, right? So let's plot our three points here. So we're at negative eight, negative one half is right there, uh, negative four, negative one, and negative one, negative four. Okay, so we have our three points. We'll draw our line right through, kind of like that, okay? Cool, so we have our first branch right here, and now to draw the other one, we just need a few points on this side of the vertical asymptote. So we can use basically the same numbers, just positive this time, right? So we'll use uh, one, four, and eight, right? So if we plug in a one, we'll get four over one, which is four. Plug in a four, four over four is equal to one, and plug in an eight, four over eight is equal to one half, right? So then here we're gonna have, let's see, one, four, uh, four, one, and eight, one half, right? So there's our points, and again, we'll play connect the dots, close enough, boom, just like that, right? So there's our graph. Now the last thing we have to do is find the domain and the range. So I'll just make a little bit of room down here. Let's delete these guys. So for the domain, let's do the domain first. It's all of our x values. So you can see all our x values basically go from negative infinity right here, right? And then it gets really close to zero, but it basically skips over zero. And then it picks up on this side, right? At, uh, this is positive infinity in that direction. Okay, so since we skip over the y-axis, which again is at x is equal to zero, right, we skip zero, the domain is from negative infinity to zero, and then we'll put a parenthesis because we're not including zero, union, and then picking it up at zero again to positive infinity, right? And then the range, it's the exact same thing, just vertically, right? So we basically go from negative infinity down here, we come up here, we don't touch the x-axis, right? This is y is equal to zero. And then we just keep going up here towards positive infinity, okay? So then the range would be the exact same thing as the domain. All right, now here's the next form that we're gonna cover. So it's y is equal to a over x minus h plus k. So this basically covers any type of translation. Okay, and whenever you graph any of these rational functions, the best thing to do is normally graph your asymptotes first. So in order to graph or find the asymptotes for a guy that looks like this, the thing that you have to look at is the H and K. So this tells you the point where your two asymptotes run through. Okay, so 
H and K are basically your X and Y coordinate, okay? So let's come down here. We have G of X is equal to negative four over X plus two minus one, okay? So again, this is our X and this is our Y. The only difference with our X, you always wanna take the opposite number. So since here we have a positive two down here, we're actually gonna uh, say that our X coordinate is at negative two. And then for our Y, or in other words, K, it's the same, it's always the same thing, it stays the same, so negative one. Okay, so at this point, negative two, negative one. So our two asymptotes run through this point. All right, so let's draw the vertical asymptote right here. All right, so again, this is at x is equal to negative two. And uh, then we'll draw the horizontal asymptote right here. And this guy is at y is equal to negative one. Okay, now to graph our function, again, we're gonna make two x, y tables. So uh, one of these tables, we're gonna pick a few points, again, to the left side of our vertical asymptote. And this one, we'll pick a few points on the right side. So for a few points on the left side, some easy numbers we can use are, let's see, negative three, negative four, and negative six. Okay, so first of all, if we plug in a negative three right here, negative three plus two, that's equal to negative one. So negative four divided by negative one is positive four. So positive four minus one is positive three, okay? And I'll just give you these other two. So if you plug in a negative four, you'll get a positive one right there. And for negative six, you'll get a zero, okay? Now, if we pick some points on the right side of the vertical asymptote, some easy numbers we can use are negative one, zero, and two, all right? So if we plug in, a negative one right here, uh, negative one plus two, that's equal to positive one. So negative four divided by positive one is just negative four. Negative four minus one is negative five. Okay, so there's the first point. And then the other two points right here would just be a negative three and a negative two. Okay, so now if we graph these, uh, let's graph this one on the left first. So negative three, positive three is right there. Negative four, one, and negative six, zero. Okay, so this is the guy on the left. All right, and then on the right we have, let's see, negative one, negative five, zero, negative three, and two, negative two. All right, and then if we graph this guy, they get really close to the asymptotes, but they never touch, right? So there's our hyperbola. Now the last thing we can do is just find the domain and the range. Right, so in this case, the domain, let's see, uh, it goes from negative infinity here, and then we skip over negative two, right? And then we just keep going towards positive infinity. So it's gonna go from negative infinity to negative two, union negative two to positive infinity. And then for the range, let's see, the range goes from negative infinity up here, and then we hit this horizontal asymptote, so we skip over that guy, which is at negative one, right? So we're gonna go from negative infinity to negative one, union, negative one, infinity, boom. All right, here's the last common form we're gonna cover. So it's in this form right here. Y is equal to AX plus B over CX plus D, okay? So again, the first thing we wanna do here is just find the asymptotes. And for this form, it's gonna be a little bit different, okay? So the problem we have here is h of x is equal to two x plus one over x minus three. Now, in order to find, first of all, the x coordinate, you just set the denominator equal to zero, okay? So to find our x, we're just gonna set this guy equal to zero, so x minus three is equal to zero. So here we can see that x is equal to positive three, right? Now, to find the y coordinate, all you need to do is divide your two leading coefficients, basically a and c, all right? So y is gonna be equal, to, your y coordinate is gonna be equal to a over c, so that's gonna be basically two over one, right? So y is equal to two divided by one, which is just equal to two, right? So then the point where our two asymptotes run through is at three comma two, right? So three, two right here. All right, so then we can draw our vertical asymptote right here. And this again is at x is equal to three. And our horizontal asymptote right here is at y is equal to two, okay? 
So there are our asymptotes. Now we just need to graph the hyperbola. And in order to do that, we just need to make two tables. Now we're going to pick a few points to the left of our asymptote and to the right. So some easy numbers we can plug in for the left is 0, 1, and 2. Right? So if we plug in a 0 over here, so we're going to get that this is equal to 2 times 0, that's just equal to 0, so we get 0 plus 1 on top, and then on the bottom we get 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. So then here this is equal to negative 1 third, right? Negative 1 third. Now if you plug in positive 1, we'll get negative 3 halves, and if you plug in a positive 2, we'll get negative 5, right? So then let's plug in a few points to the right of x is equal to 3. Okay, so here we can plug in 4, 5, and 6. So if we plug in a 4 here, 2 times 4, that's equal to 8, and 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. And then again, if we plug in a 4 here, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 9 divided by 1 is just equal to 9, right? So then we get a 9 here. Now, if you plug in a 5 and a 6, here you're going to get 5 and a half, or 5.5. .5. And for 6, you're going to get 4 and 1 third, or basically 4.3 repeating, okay? So here are our two tables, so now we can graph these, right? So let's graph this one first. Uh, so we're going to have a point at 0, negative 1 third. Let's see, 1, negative 3 halves, or basically negative 1.5, right? And then 2, negative 5, right there, okay? So here are three points, and I'll just do them a different color just so maybe it's a little easier to see, not confuse them with the asymptotes. Okay, and then here, the other table, we have 4, 9 up here, then 5, 5.5 5 is right there, and 6, 4.3333 is about there. Okay, there's our hyperbola. And then the last thing we want to do is just find the domain and the range, right? So the domain in this case, let's see, it's going to go from negative infinity and then we skip over x is equal to 3, right? So from negative infinity to 3, union, and then from 3 to infinity. And then the range is going to be, we skip over positive 2, so we're going to go from negative infinity to positive 2, union, 2, to infinity, and beyond. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.